What's going on guys? Welcome to another game analysis video. Absolutely beautiful day down here in Wellington, New Zealand, even in the winter time. I mean, it was a little cold at the end of the game, wind kind of coming, but I mean, you can't complain. Day like this, these hills in the background still amaze me every single day. Anyway, as always, I'm number 13 for the white and black team. My name is Matt Sheldon. I'm playing right back. I'm playing for Waterside Karori, and today we're playing against Lower Hut. So this is my game analysis of every single touch I take in this game. So first play of the game, kickoff, we have the ball. We actually switched sides, so now we're attacking um, that far side. We have possession of the ball, and we're just kind of maintaining it off of the kickoff. Now, first touch of the game comes right here for me. I'm getting the ball lots of time and space. I take a few touches down. Now, I could play it down towards my right winger right here, but I just see four guys on the opposite side wide open. So I try to hit the ball a little bit driven over to that far side. It works out. And then Sam plays a really good ball on the ground across the goal, but we don't have anybody running into the box there. Um, ball comes out to me now for my goalkeeper. Take a touch to control it. Again, I'm starting to dribble down the line, and I'm looking up, and I'm just seeing yellow shirts everywhere. So at this point in the game, early on, let's keep possession. I'm going to use the outside of my foot to pull it back and play into my center mid. So we just keep possession of the ball here. Again, ball's going to come out wide to me. Lots of time. Got one guy running at me, so I'm dribbling down the line. Um, I I'm, have one guy to attack. I could attack, but I just, again, pull it once more back, keep possession of the ball, and then play into my center mid so we can kind of play out of it. He plays it back to me. I play it back to my center back. And it's just a pretty good string of attacks. We're, we definitely like to maintain possession of the ball. So um, it's good for us. Ball goes over my head here. I have just one guy on my back who's not applying that much pressure, so I chest it down and play it into my center back. Now right here, I should take two steps forward just to create a little bit better passing angle for my center back. He does hit it a little bit hard, but if I were to take those two, two or three steps forward immediately after I pass the ball to create a better angle, it would work out much better and we would have possession of the ball. But um, throw in, I get a good header down the line, and actually the ball comes back to me, and it's so congested right here. Everything's right in here. Uh, you can see one of my center backs is, or center mids is pointing to my center back. So I turn, play it back to my center back so we can switch the point of attack. Now ball is going to come into me. Now this is a situation that I love. Now this is 1v1. I'm going to attack, do a little double step over, push it down, and then hit it hard um, with my laces across the face of the goal, almost to that far post, but we don't have anybody running there to uh, be on the end of it. Now ball bounces out wide to me. I just hesitate a little bit to create a little bit passing angle, a little bit better passing angle for my right mid and he plays it right back to me now now we have time there's not that much pressure i play try to play into my forward but it doesn't work out but um it was a good good sequence to play out of that little tough situation there now i have the ball for a throw in i'm just going to play it right into my one of my right wingers he's going to play it right back to me now i'm going to open up my hips like i'm going to play down the line and then take a touch in towards the center now there's four or five yellow shirts right in here. I'm trying to switch the point of attack into my center mid here, but um, I just couldn't get a good passing angle. So what I'm gonna do is cut it, cut it again, and then play out to my winger and then make a run down the line. I felt like I was on here. I'm not sure what happened there on the pass, but you know, a decent play. Great ball out um, for my center mid. He's gonna play it out to me. I take one touch, send in a pretty decent cross, but we don't get on the end of it. Playing into my center mid, plays it right back to me. Now, again, this is another little thing. Just a little movement into the inside, just a little shoulder dip is enough to make that defender bite and create a passing angle down the line. And now we're playing out of it. You know, I try to play into my forward, but it doesn't work out. But just those little movements, those little body fakes or feints is what really gives you time and space on the ball. Good passing sequence here, but our right winger loses it. Um, but yeah, so in this play, it's a throw-in for them. I do a good job to intercept it and then try to just clear the ball down the line, and uh, we actually maintain possession of the ball here. This ball goes over my head. Now, there's not enough momentum on the ball for it to go out of bounce, so I'm not going to shield it. I have a guy on my back, so in this situation, I'm just going to put my foot through it, clear it up down the line, and uh, I, I'm not sure what happened there, but we should maintain possession off that one. So... Um, in those situations, I just don't like to try to play around. Now this play, I completely bit and I almost got beat and I'm going to rewind it right here, but watch my movement. I'm going to come running out and try to intercept that and I'm too eager. And so that ball actually is hit harder than I thought goes over my head. I do do a good job to recover, but it's just something I need to be wary of, especially when, you know, uh, it, it could be dangerous. So I'm going to have the throw in now playing to my center mid. 
plays it right back to me. I have this guy running in hard against me, so I'm just going to hit it with my instep first time down the line into our striker so he can hold it up for us and keep the ball. Now throw in, I chest it down, take a touch in the center, and then I'm just going to play my center mid and continue out the run. Um, we lose it. We end up losing it there, but it was a, a good play out of that situation. Now here, this ball's not intended for me, but I, I run and save it just as before it's about to go out of bounce. We don't have to be in that near post, but um, this is good. I mean, I could have maybe taken a touch, but I think my momentum, it was better just to hit that ball first time to save it from going out. Now I'm 1v1 again. I try to attack. I hesitate a little bit, do a little body feint, do another one, try to push down the line. The defender does well and blocks the cross. So uh, we get a corner kick, corner kick out of it. Not my best attacking sequence, but could have been worse. Good touch to bring it down. Have a guy on my back, cut it back again, cut it back out wide. Now I create time and space for me. So I turn, face the field, and play into my center mid, who um, plays it out to the winger and then plays it back to me. And I play it back into my center mid. Very good sequence to escape some pressure. Um, just one, two touch passing. And that's all that is there. So I'm not sure what happens here. But a um, little dangerous. Ball comes bouncing out to me. I have two guys. Here I should just kick it out of bounds. We're not completely set. But it's not dangerous yet. Um, our center mid comes in, puts his arm across their attacker's chest. The, their attacker falls down and a penalty is awarded. Now, it, I don't know. It's a little soft, but you, it's 100%. You know, his arms, forearms are going across his chest. That's a foul. They score the penalty, and now we're down 1-0. So not, not the best situation, but... um. But you can, it's a penalty, you know. He did a good job to fall down there. Keeper plays it out to me. I want him to play out to the other side because our left back is completely wide open, but he plays it out to me. I have this attacker running in. This was after a corner kick, so our center backs are still working to get back. It's too risky of a situation for me to try to dribble. So I'm just gonna play it right back to our center back, let our center or uh, goalkeeper, let our center backs get back in position so we are a little bit more secure and safe in the back before I try anything risky um, back there. I don't know. That could have been a foul on my part. Ref doesn't call it. Uh, I just kind of dribble in, play into my right winger, and we start to play and attack out of it. Ball comes back out to me, and I'm just going to hit a hard, uh, take a couple touch dribbles in. Now I see a good checking ball from this from Kim, my left winger, and play it into his feet, and he tries to play out of it. Ball bounces back to me, heavy touch, and then a, a firm tackle. So on this play, uh, ball comes out to me from my winger. I try to play into a checking striker right here. It's not the best ball at all, so we lose possession of it. Um, so then I just step out, make a tackle, but it bounces out me, bounces off of me for their throw in. And then um, now for this play, I was pretty frustrated about this play. So ball comes out to me. I take a heavy touch, bounces up in the air. I'm running down the line, and I just get clobbered. And I thought it was a dangerous play. Something ref doesn't call anything. I start yelling at the ref. I get a yellow card for descent. But um, I don't know. I thought it was a dangerous play. Maybe I, I'm just biased, but I just thought he came out of nowhere and kind of when I was looking straight up for the ball. Anyway, that's enough complaining for me. Uh, this is pretty much the last play of the game. Whistle blows, and now it's the second half. So still, we're down 1-0, lower hut um, off that penalty. They have the kickoff now, and now this is my first touch of the game play in back to me. Not a very good touch there. Tackles, but we maintain possession. I play it back to my player. But um, yeah, not the best first touch of the second half on my part. So here I try I try to play into my center mid here. I probably should switch it. It's a little crowded, a little congested, so it doesn't work out. I should probably put my foot on top of it, pull it back to my other center back or goalkeeper. Anyway, so this play right here, I, I see a great run for the right winger right here. The ball's coming out. There's tons of space right here to make that run right in between these two center backs. I try to play it in my right winger. Um, he was on a different page than I was. He was trying to check, I guess. Um, and then now right here, I'm looking down the line constantly or across the field to see where that offsides line is. So I'm not offsides when that ball comes in. Ball comes in. It's a tough one. Make a decent play on it to cross it in. It ends up working out, dropping to our striker's foot, but nothing comes of it. Center back heads the ball out to me. Not the best first touch, but I bring it down. I look in the center. We have 1v3 right now. It's not the best option, so I turn it out wide, and then I just start to take a couple touches. I see my striker making a run towards the corner flag, so I'm just going to put kind of like a chipping, curling ball down the line. It works out. It works out really well. Striker takes a couple touches in to the field, tries to cross it in. Decent cross, but again, nothing really comes of it again. Center back to, makes a good defensive tackle there. I just get the ball played in my center mid. Um, and then we kind of switch the point of attack there, but he ends up getting fouled. 
On this play, ball comes out to me from the center back. I have lots of time. I take one touch. I start to dribble inwards. Now, this is, I want someone checking here. I mean, I don't want to make excuses or blame other people, but there there needs to be someone checking. I, sh- I could have played it faster, but um, but yeah, that's just my thoughts. Free kick on top of the box from their goalkeeper making an error, actually taking the ball outside of the box and using his hand. We do a great job off the indirect free kick and we score. So now it's tied 1-1. Great free kick by Daniel Bowkett. Um, but yeah, very good. So this is now 1-1, their kickoff. Ball comes bouncing out to me. Terrible first touch bounces up. It's stuck under my foot. I try to, my chances of a shot, not the best opportunity there. Ball comes out to me, a little bit behind me. Take a touch down the line. Start to attack. Take it down the line, cut it in. And this is, I have a bad habit of this. When the ball comes out to me, I really like to cut inside. And it can work out really well, but in this situation, it's really prone for a counterattack here. So if I do make that decision to cut inside, I cannot lose the ball because I'm going to lose the ball here. And now it's a counterattack, 3v3, going against our goal. So I just need to be smarter. I mean, that's I got to be smarter there. This guy actually beats me with a good turn here, but I do a good job to come back, use some speed, get in front of him and the ball, and then get fouled, draw the foul. So now it's our possession. Um, but yeah, he definitely had a good turn there. Center back has the ball, plays me. I'm looking down the line again to make sure I'm not off sides or across the field. I say down the line. I'm looking across the field, plays me in the ball. I do a good job just to attack, try to whip it across. Defender blocks it, comes right back out to me. I'm kind of stuck on the sideline, so I roll it back to my right winger, which is a good cross in. It almost works out for us again, but again, no goal. Now, tough ball in. Ball comes up. I just chest it down, put my back on the defender, and he kind of hacks the back of my leg, which did not feel very good, but it worked out. I bring the ball down with the chest down the line. I have a guy coming in hard, so I make a turn, bring into the center of the field, and then just switch it over to my left back, who uh, now has a chance at goal. Again, I just kind of want to take you through my thought process as I bring it down. Now I'm going 1v1, but I have this guy coming in with tons of speed and momentum, so I just kind of go against the his momentum, cut it back into the center, and uh, just try to bring it back into the to the opposite side. I could maybe attack, but just when that guy's behind me coming in hard, it's hard to... Uh, accelerate and beat him now here i'm looking for someone right in that six yard box to play it too hard who's making a dynamic run i could have played it back to this player here and take a little too long on it end up do playing it back to him but um yeah i just wanted that one guy like running into the six yard box hard so i could find him ball gets played over the top it's a tough one i look up there's nobody in the box so i'm not going to play it first time now it's just going to be nobody i cut it back uh, see my options. This defender actually backs off of me here, so I just say okay. I turn and then whipping across right to our player's head. Not a very good header. Not sure what happened there, but um, but decent. I mean, we're getting opportunities. Again, have a guy coming in at me. Got another guy sagging off. I just do a little kind of pull back tap behind my leg, and now we have more possession of the ball. Ball gets. I'm having tons of time and space out here. Try to attack. I've gone down the line every single time, so I try my luck cutting in. I want me if there's a guy in that penalty spot, maybe checking, do a one two or something. A couple guys hiding, do a little back roll to Tor who tries to volley it in. Um, but yeah, anyway, ball comes into me. Keep the possession of the ball, playing the center mid, and now we're playing out of it with lots of time and space. I get the ball in the wing. Try to cut back, lose the possession of the ball here, but it goes out for our throw in. A little tight. Maybe you could play a little bit earlier somewhere. But uh, again, no harm, no foul. Thrown into Regeer. Does a good job to take a touch. Decent ball in. Really good ball in. But nobody on the end of it. Lots of time and space out here. I just start attacking. One guy coming in. I'm just going to keep kind of like keep dribbling until someone really steps at me. And no one really does. So then I just hit a hard ball into the near post. I should have tried to hit a little bit back. But um, it's always easier said than done. 1v1. Try my lot cutting into my lefts. And then just I'm leaning back. I'm still kind of working on that left foot um, with how that groin's feeling. Anyway, that's the end of the game. We end up tying 1-1 against Lower Hut. Decent game on my part, I would say. I got a ton of crosses. A couple crosses could have been better. But, um, but yeah, I mean, just hopefully we get on the end of a couple of these crosses in these few games to come. Only two more games left. But yeah, that was the game analysis of every single touch I took in this game. Let me know your thoughts. As always, if you like this video, like it, hit that thumbs up button for me, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, peace.